Yo guys, it's Top. I have another free pick video for you today. These are for the MLB picks on Friday, which means it's Flex Friday for you guys on Prize Picks. I have three of my favorite plays for you guys in this video that we're gonna hop into in one second, real quick. I want to make sure to let you guys know and remind you guys to make sure to subscribe to the channel. Majority of the people watching my videos are not subscribed for some reason. I post these videos every single day to help you guys out and give you guys free player props. So just make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of the plays. It's gonna help you guys out. So don't miss any of the plays. Just subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss them. And then also go ahead and drop a like on the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. But let's hop into it. So obviously, like always, let's recap this last game on uh, Friday or sorry Thursday so right here again this is now the fifth video in a row that we went one for one I I can't for some reason for the life of me this second play I just I we're cursed I can't hit it we're still hitting at least one play every time it's not like we're going 0 for 2 we're still doing decent it's just for some reason the second play we're cursed right now man however those are that is just on the YouTube plays VIP is still doing really well. This is from the other day where we went six for eight. And then today, again, we went five for eight, but we were super close. We honestly swear to God, we should have gone seven for eight in VIP today. Still went five for it. So not horrible, but I still like to keep ourselves at at least six out of eight, at least at that standard, but decent day here. So VIP is actually doing really, really well this week. So you guys can get in VIP for free, by the way. My VIP is just a complete tool. So Basically, every single day, I send out an extra anywhere from seven to 10 plays usually of my favorite MLB plays of the day. And then you guys can use them how you want to use them. So like this, the other day I sent this out, you guys got six more plays that hit. Today, I sent them out, you got another five plays that hit almost six or seven extra plays that hit. So it's another tool for you guys to use when you're betting. All you have to do to get VIP, I'm giving it away for completely free. Like it is 100% free. All you guys have to do to get in it for free is download one of these apps and use my code on one of the apps. You don't have to get both. You just either have to download Sleeper with code Ghost and then deposit at least 10 bucks. So you have to download the app with the code and then just deposit at least 10 bucks. They do match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. So you can get 100 free bucks. But if you don't want to put all that money in, at least 10 bucks and you guys are good. Sleeper also is giving away a free play for Friday's games if you guys sign up right now on Friday. So you get that free play and the free 100 bucks and then a free month of VIP. Or if you can't get Sleeper, you already have Sleeper or something like that, you guys can download the Chalkboard app and use code GhostLocks. Same thing here, $100 deposit match, but you only have to do at least 10 bucks. That is code GhostLocks though. So Make sure when you download these apps that you use the correct code on the correct app. And then after you get set up on these apps, either drop a comment on this video, email me, DM me on these apps, DM me on Instagram, doesn't matter. Let me know some way, somehow, and I will reach out to you guys and send you the link to free VIP. I'm not worried about that. Literally, once people sign up, it takes like 10 minutes for me to reach back out and send them a link to VIP. So just make sure you guys get set up on the app with at least 10 bucks and the correct code. Let me know, and I got you guys with the free month of VIP. But let's hop into the plays. So the first play is up on prize picks already, but a couple of them are not up unless they just posted them. It looks like they didn't post them yet. So they have one of the plays up and then the other ones I'll just have to show you guys screenshots on the sleeper app and then they'll put it up on prize picks later. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, I just wanted to see if they already have it up, which it looks like they don't. Um, the first play we're going with though is Logan Webb. He is at five pitcher strikeouts. We want to go over here. He has been killing this line. He is the most consistent pitcher in the league right now. It's not even close. He hits almost exactly five or six pitches every single game, it seems like. It has been six games in a row now where he has either tied with this line or gone over this line. This right here against the Dodgers was the only time he tied this line in the last six games. The game before this, he got another six strikeouts. So he's been killing this line super, super consistent. Anytime I see Logan Webb's line anywhere under five and a half, I'm slamming the over every single time. I don't care who the match. I literally could not care less who the matchup is. I'm slamming the over throughout the entire season. It's not only just the last games. It's literally throughout the entire season. He is so consistent. The least amount of strikeouts he's had in a game this whole season is three. That only happened one time and it was towards the beginning of the season. Other than that, he's had like two other games where he only got four. But then besides that, like the 10, 12 other games, he's gotten at least five every single time. So Texas 
is a decent matchup. They're not a horrible team or anything like that. They are a solid matchup. But at the same time, the Dodgers are a great matchup. Mets are a great matchup. Yankees are a great matchup. And he's still racking up five, eight, six strikeouts against them. I am not too worried. This is on the road. Throughout like the beginning of the season, he was a little bit worse on the road. But now throughout the last... I would say basically since this uh, Pittsburgh game right here, he's been fine on the road. He's kind of coming back, and he's perfectly fine on the road. So I'm not even worried about that either. Again, I don't care who the matchup is. I'm taking his over if it's anywhere under five and a half. I'm literally I'm taking the over. I don't care. This might tie at five, but even if it ties, I don't care. Something like Flex Friday, if a play ties, it's not the end of the world anyway. So I still like this line at five. Um, on pride or sorry, on sleeper and chalkboard, this line's at four and a half right now. So I love this line at four and a half. Absolutely love that line at four and a half. Again, five perfectly fine. It's still cool, but four and a half is stupid. That's basically, I mean, in my mind, I don't want to jinx it, knock on wood. In my mind, that's a free play when we're talking about Logan Webb and how consistent he is. That's damn near a free play. So I love that play. Um, not to mention, he also gets like 100 pitches a game. They do not care. They will throw, they'll keep him in the game for 110 pitches. They don't give a damn so i really really like logan webb over there and then the other plays uh let's i'll check if it's up on price so i could show you guys there but i don't think it is we got allen is the next play here he's not up yet so we'll just show you here again this isn't up on price picks at time of recording but they're going to put it up later they just take a long time to put their plays up so it's hard for me to get the plays out um at least to show you guys on price picks so we're just going to show you on sleeper right here we're going allen under four and a half strikeouts right here he's playing miami so the matchup's really good miami's very very good this season at not striking out so i do have faith and trust in miami that they can get this done and not strike out five times against allen here he's also averaged under this line he's averaged basically right around at 4.3 he did have these two really good games here against minnesota and the Angels right here, not too impressive. They're not great teams or anything like that. Played Colorado right here. Colorado is a horrible team. He only got one strikeout against them, uh, three against the White Sox. So I really like this line here. It's heavily favored to go under on most sports books, most casinos, most apps. It's heavily favored to go under. I really like his under here. We've hit his under on the season, I think, like three or four times now. So I really like to just keep going back to him and keep going back to his unders. His lines are usually posted around four and a half. So we're getting his line at the normal, usual four and a half, but he's playing a very good matchup. So I really like the line under four and a half right there. That's the second play. And then the third play, again, I could check if this is on price books, but I don't believe it is. No, it's not. Okay, so I'll just show you the screenshot here. It's fine. Um, we're going Lodolo under six and a half strikeouts so this is a really really high line you guys can see he hasn't hit this in the last four games including his last game against the cubs where he only got three he's playing the cubs again you're giving him a line of six and a half that is insane to me he has averaged six on the season so he is doing pretty decent however he did have a couple games in the double digits which really spiked that average so realistically is he is he really averaging that like is it are we going into games with him and we're saying, yeah, most likely he's getting six or seven? Not really. So it's a little bit spiked because of that. Those are those couple games where he went off is really carrying that season average. And even then it's at six. His line's at six and a half. I really like the under here. Like I said, he's playing the Cubs. Cubs are a team that tends to strike out more than most of the league. However, like I said, last time he played them, he only had three, and he hasn't hit this four games in a row, so I really like his under. Same thing as Allen right here as well. Most casinos, sportsbooks, apps, they're all heavily favoring him to go under this play at six and a half again. On top of all that, I really like taking pitcher strikeouts unders in general, but especially, I don't care who the pitcher is, especially when the line's six and a half seven and a half i really like taking unders at those lines just unless there's a couple pitchers in the league that if their line's six and a half seven and a half i'm not touching it going under at least i'm not touching it but there's a bunch of pitchers like lodolo is one of them perfect example if his line's at six and a half i'm just taking the under that is such a high line in general in the mlb right now it just seems like barely any pitchers can actually consistently hit over this line so i really really like the under here um, but that's the third and final play for you guys so this is what it looks like again like i said webb is at four and a half 
on Sleeper and Shockboard. Uh, by the way, Allen and Lodolo, when they get put up on prize picks, this is going to be at uh, four, and then this line is going to be at six. So you guys are getting worse lines on prize picks, but I understand a lot of you guys only have prize picks in your state, or you guys are just doing this for Flex Friday, which I totally understand as well. I will be doing that also. So I get that as well. But just so I just want to let you guys know, just so you guys have all the information that the lines are going to be a little bit worse on price picks. Sleeper and Chalkboard, you can expect it to be this. They might get changed a little bit, but it should relatively be right around the same. But yeah, guys, those are the picks. Again, make sure to go ahead, like the video. It helped me out a lot. And then also remember to subscribe to the channel. I post these videos every single day. I'm helping you guys out. There's no reason not to subscribe. It's free. It takes one second to do, so make sure to go ahead and do that. Also, drop comments if you guys like these plays. If you guys have your own plays you like, let me know in the comments as well. And hopefully, we can hit on this play again, and hopefully, we can all cash on our Flex Friday. So, good luck with that. Again, last uh, but not least, I just want to remind you guys one more time that if you do sign up on one of these apps using my code, just remember to drop a comment so I can get you guys that free VIP. I'll hit you guys back up in like 10 minutes tops. So make sure to just let me know when I got you guys. But then, yeah, other than that, guys, those are the three of my favorite plays for MLB on Friday. Good luck with all your bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.